Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Haynes. And I'm Trenton Bennett. And we are audiobook narrators and uh, helpers of people that want to do audiobook narration. Uh, we are in the process of putting together videos about what to think about and possibly actionable items when you are in the preparation stage uh, before you even say your first word into the recording. Now, I don't want this to be an excuse for you to procrastinate. I want you to jump in and, and go there. And if you find at the end of your project, there is something that could be improved, improve it forward into the next project. Because um, chances are you're, you're going to do great and you're doing great. Uh, otherwise, the author wouldn't have chosen you. But here are some things if you're wondering how to ground yourself and how to bolster your confidence and face challenges that, that could be helpful to do. We are uh, continuing along the idea of accents. Now, this could be not only uh, part of our video series, but could become part of a, a series of videos 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 70 years, and we still wouldn't you know, get to the bottom of it. But last time, we talked about how an accent isn't the character um, and how to make uh, specific choices and make sure that whatever is being chosen is still giving you a sense of the character. Uh, Trenton had some additional thoughts about prepping, so I'm going to turn it over to him. You betcha. Thanks, Matt. So I do have a series of language exercises, accents and dialects that I've been given from a course that I took. I use this to drill on the accent, and that's for me to be able to speak it conversationally and I'll I'll speak to myself out loud, say random things and, and test the sound of it to my ears. But then after that, when the time comes to prep for the character, I do actually start that chapter with a few of the voices and, and say out loud, now I'm talking as this guy. No, I'm talking as this guy and make a little moderation so that I feel comfortable. And that's when, in order to polish the accent, the best way to get yourself comfy with an accent or a dialect that you don't use every day and you're trying to push through a performance is to blow it out to a cartoonish degree and then dial it back in. So, for example, mm -hmm. you might make a Scottish accent really full of little stops and really bit, make it still silly. And then you'll bring it back and make it a little more subtle and try and work on making it a little more understandable to an American ear. Mm hmm. Um absolutely i mean what uh what i find is when i am doing an accent or a very distinct voice for characters that i'm doing even when i read i think to myself like boy i'm overdoing this you know this is crazy but then when i listen back it's like oh huh it's actually my voice it's almost like a sort of a neutral base of frozen yogurt with a little bit of flavoring dipped in there um, but yeah, the idea of having fun, everybody before, uh, before jumping in and being subtle, um, is, is so helpful and so important. Um, it reminds me Trenton of actually Stanley Kubrick's process where, you know, to get these very sort of steady, almost remotely detached and nuanced films, he actually tried everything and anything you know uh in the process and then just distilled it back distilled it back distilled it back just making his little choices little choices little choices um but the flavor was always underneath the surface there um in terms of uh drilling accents and characters what i like to do is uh take them through song lyrics i don't necessarily practice the text to the accent of the character but you know when i'm taking a walk or i'm doing my house chores i'll review by you know having some songs in my mind and then uh, you know apply the character's um accent to to those lyrics because i remember the lyrics and it gives me text by which i can i can apply things and it's soothing to to say rhyming things to myself any any other thoughts trenton on the on the prep process for for accents yeah, first off, I do want to say, we talked in the first video about how you make a character choice and you stick with it and you push it through. The same is true like you're saying. You record it and you think, oh my gosh, that sounds really blown out. But then you listen 
and you realize it's actually not that bad as you you put it very well that it is just it sounds like yourself with a more it's like when you're doing it you think you're doing it too much and then when you play it back it's important to play it back for another reason and that's you want to be sure it doesn't drift or disappear mm. because there have been mm. times where i have it and i'm like oh i went into narrator voice then i went back to the accent and it got lost and I'm like, oh, well, that phrase right there, I missed that. I need to re-record that, just like if I'd done a plosive and blown out the mic. Hmm. Yeah, good, good. Well, everybody, that's our tip for uh, accents and uh, the preparation process. My name is Matt Haynes. And I'm Trenton Bennett. And as your uh, narrators and teachers, I hope that our voices in your ears meet again real soon. Thanks, everybody.